Hey there and welcome back to Dakota News Now. Now time for another edition of Owning Your Outdoors and joining me is Doug Schroeder from Lewis and uh, Doug, June is Rose Month, right? It is, it is. It's uh, been a, a garden favorite of the summer for years. Uh, I remember my grandmother having roses, but the roses today are not my grandmother's rose. So they, what's different about them? They've taken and done a lot of genetics that makes roses more adaptable to our climate here and what our uh, seasons are. Also, uh, the roses we carry are called Easy Elegance and Grace and Grit. What is special about these roses is that the root is the same as the top. So if when in winter you have rabbits that eat it back or it dies back, what comes up from the roots will be the same rose that um, it was before. Uh, they used to graft them onto wild roses. That's why uh, the old ro roses, the top died back. You'd see all these wild rose pieces coming up. So with it being uh, attached to one root, is there anything different that we have to do when we're planting one? Uh, the biggest thing with roses is uh, mend the soil, uh, get some good organic uh, material on there. They do not like soil, it does not uh, drain well. So get that done, that gives them a good start, a good foundation to start growing your roses. Next, the most important thing with roses is giving them space. When you look at a rose, there's different uh, sizes they are at maturity. Really pay attention to what they will be when they're full grown. Give them that space. They need some air circulation going through the so, roses you plant. So they need some space? Do they need full sun? Do they need, they need full sun to part shade? They need a minimum of six hours of sun a day. All right I th and I think like one of the most important things that I think about with roses is deadheading them. Yes, deadheading uh, you want to keep roses blooming. It's important to snip the, uh, the spent blossoms off the bush. It doesn't take that long. Uh, you'll be rewarded with an abundance of new flowers if you keep doing that. Also pruning. I only recommend pruning after the bush is greened up in the spring. You may see a little bit of dead, then prune. Don't cut back in the fall or do a full prune in the spring. Let them leaf out first. And just like every other plant, uh, nutrients, you can use some fertilizer, right? Yes, slow-release fertilizers. There's so many of them on the market that uh, are perfect for roses. Treat them once when they first leaf out in the spring. They're good for the whole season. A special note, do not fertilize roses when, when they're blooming. Uh, let them do their thing. Once they've quit blooming for the year, you may give them a little fertilizer, but the best time to fertilize roses is in the spring. And, of course, always watch out for the thorns. Watch out for the thorns. Every, beautiful things sometimes have thorns you're right any other tips for us doug no uh enjoy there are so many different colors and uh sizes there's climbing roses um there's bicolor roses so there's just a lot to pick from all right doug thank you so much like you were saying is rose month perfect time to come on down and pick out some roses for your place we're gonna have all this information online to codenewsnow.com after the show but stick around because we have fast cast right after this break